channel and welcome to another mommy makeup Monday series video I know I skipped last week and I did say I was gonna film a review and a test product on the new wet and wild photo focus foundation I had to stare at it because I completely forgot the name but um I tried filming it and then I stopped halfway because it got really loud in my house and then I tried to film it some more and then I deleted some scenes when I went to go upload it and then my memory card was wiped completely when I uploaded my last video so it's just been a little crazy but I will be having it up next Monday so for today's video to not skip another week of the mommy makeup Monday series I'm bringing you guys a a quick haul that I did at my local Walgreens yet again and actually one of the products I got at my local grocer so if you guys are interested in seeing another mommy makeup Monday haul then just keep watching. I did go out and pick up a coconut oil I've been trying to research on how to get the curls back into my hair I am 100% Latina I am Puerto Rican so I kind of want to bring my curls back without damaging it do you know going out and doing a perm and whatnot so I did see a lot of rave for coconut oil for people with um, curly hair and I did see that if you deep condition or deep mask it overnight it will help kind of tighten your curls again so I did pick up a coconut oil the brand I picked up um, is Luana and this one's 30 ounces it should last me a while I actually did a treatment last night so I feel the difference in my hair but I got to do it a few more times to see if it's actually going to be up to par and if it's actually going to work and bring my help to my local restaurant and I picked up two other hair products the brand is Mark Anthony true professional I picked up their hydrating coconut oil and shea butter curl cream it's supposed to eliminate frizz and help rejuvenate your hair and I also picked up their defrizzing coconut smoothie cream I will tell you the smell is amazing they were actually buy one get one free this week so I said you know what I'm testing and I'm trying to restore my hair why not pick up new products so I'll give you guys a full review on the products after a few uses of it but so far so good my hair does seem to be flat up top curly it's got like a mind of its own going on right now but bear with me through the restoration process to bring the curls back. this I'm um, looking for a scrub or a soap that will help minimize my back knee yes being pregnant I get so much back knee it's and it's not a breakout to where they're you know full of plus TMI or any of that craziness but I just break out and my back is red and it looks just irritated so I was looking for something and I read up that the brand Shea Moisture is a good brand this is their super fruit complex soap with mango butter and green coffee bean extract this one's supposed to contour firm and soothe but I reading reviews on it I read that people were stating that it helped reduce their acne so I'm gonna try it on my back to see if it'll reduce my back knee. I was smelling it because it smells so exotic so this one has no parabens no paraffin no gluten no mineral oil no synthetic fragrance no animal testing no PABA no synthetic colors no DEA and no sulfates it says cruelty free so I will let you guys know how this is going to be going. I have severe astigmatism in both my eyes. I don't wear my glasses. I actually ran over my glasses. That's a long story. That's for story time. But um, when I wear eye makeup, and I can wear it, but when I, it comes time to take it off, I get irritated really bad. So the only brand that I have come across that doesn't irritate my eyes and make them extremely sensitive when I'm taking my makeup off is Almay. And I picked up their clear complexion 4-in-1 makeup remover wipes I love these I swear by these these are holy grail they're amazing and I also picked up two of their pads just in case sometimes I just put mascara on or eye makeup on and I don't do the whole foundation routine or BB cream so this would be helpful for me I've never tried these this is going to be helpful for me when I'm just messing with my eyes for the day to release any makeup and any Finally, I picked I picked up two of those their gel liners. I picked up their number 34 Espresso and number 33 Charcoal. These are their intense eye color gel smooth liners. They were actually free for me this week. So I said, you know what? I needed new liners and I wanted to try these. I do love gel liners versus pencil liners. Um, being that I have astigmatism, it's a little rough on the eyes for me and they get irritated and I'm, I'm crying like I'm watching the notebook right after I apply my eyeliner. So I'm going to give these a try. I'll let you guys know how these us work. to the end of my mini haul at Walgreens. I hope you guys enjoyed this brochure. Mommy Makeup Monday series video. I will see you guys next week for the foundation 
review, I promise. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys.